finally I got around to watching Man of Steel. I saw this movie back in the day when it came out. And I haven't seen it since, so I really wanted to watch it again because I'm doing like a DC ranking thing soon, so I wanted to watch and read all the movies before the Batman comes out. Positives aside, I really, really enjoy this movie. I think the score is absolutely beautiful. The soundtrack is absolutely astounding. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. It's why I love Zack Snyder so much. Watchmen, Justice League, Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman. He, you can say what you want about the guy. Everyone has their own opinions. But he fucking knocks it out of the park when it comes to musical scores, soundtracks. Just everything, man. The details. But like his music... When Superman's flying, it just makes it so, I don't know, man, like, you, you really feel like you're flying with him. You feel that he really is a god, and he's here to protect, you know, the human race. That's what his job is. Uh, the first half of the movie, I'd say, pretty good pacing all around. It's not bad. I think Zack Snyder has a bit of issues with pacing. This movie, not so much, but I think Watchmen pacing's a bit off. Here, it's good at the beginning. Near the middle, it started to drag for me. And then, obviously, near the end, it started to pick up. But you gotta have that build up. But the one complaint I had about this movie was, even back in the day, I didn't feel the stakes a lot. I didn't feel like it was... I, I don't know, like when the ending battle happened, when Zod gets his neck snapped. Don't get me wrong, it was fucking awesome. But like, I didn't feel the intensity, really. You know what I mean? The first time, I did, but second time around, not so much. I don't know why, but I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I just, for some reason, I wasn't as invested in the story as I was, you know, the first time I watched it. But, uh, I... I wouldn't say it ruined my viewing experience for it, but it definitely, I don't know, definitely, like, probably not going to go back and watch this again anytime soon. Um, the performances here, like, Henry Cavill, Amy Adams, Michael Shannon, Kevin Costner, fucking Lawrence Fishburne, everyone just kills it. Everyone kills it. I don't like Amy Adams a lot, but for Lois Lane, she's pretty good. For me, the standout here is Zod. I think he's a really good villain. I think his motivations are like just pitch perfect clear and you're kind of on his side a bit because you know Superman was a part of his was a part of Krypton and now he's on earth and he's trying to get him back which makes sense but then he tries to like kill him I guess I don't know fucking tortures him the scene kind of confused me actually but it's just the only complaint I had that ruins this movie for like rewatchability is like like I said I didn't feel the intensity in the story I can go back and watch Joker like 30 times and I still feel the story intensity other than that I don't have any complaints action the flying the ending scene how the movie starts how the movie ends um the set pieces the, the cinematography it's just beautiful and I love how it goes from big 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 landscape opening you know these big big glamour shots to you know it was kind of like a mix there's that and there's a lot of quick cuts which it took a bit to get used to but after a while i didn't mind Zack snyder definitely went with a different editing style here it's not as usual but the way that he presents superman i think is the best henry cavill is hands down the best Obviously, this is probably my favorite Superman movie because it's the best one we've had. All the other ones were just garbage. I just didn't feel... When it came to the story, I just didn't feel the intensity. And that's the only negative thing I have to say. Everything else, all around, just a really good origin story and a good Superman movie with really good flashbacks that are really well done and they don't go on too long. Like I said, some of the movie drags, but... I don't know. It's not for everyone, but once you get past those slow parts, the ending is just satisfying as hell. Seeing him snap Zod's neck. And everyone's like, well, why didn't he just turn him away? It's like, no, he had to kill him.
it just made it more intense. I don't know. I liked it. Next up is Batman vs Superman. I know this wasn't a super, super in-depth review, but I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on what I think of Man of Steel, why I love it so much, why I probably won't rewatch it, but all around, still a very, very good standalone origin Superman story. All around, just probably the best we're going to have in a while because I don't think Henry Cowell is doing anything with Superman anytime soon. Justice League doesn't count, so... Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do Batman vs. Superman, and then uh, Birds of Prey on Sunday. And then, yeah, you guys will find out the rest in the coming week. Friday I'm seeing Batman, so that will be the highlight of the week. So thank you everyone for watching. Take care.